Nobody falls, it means that ISIS would effectively have control of a large swath of territory from the self-declared capital of Raqqa to the Turkish border some 60 miles away. Standing by live now at that border, CNN's Phil Black. And Phil, there's been a lot of activity around you in that city over just the last hour or so. Yeah, John, what we believe we're seeing here are coalition airstrikes. A lull in the fighting on the ground in the city itself, but overhead, aircraft noise, and then moments later, very large explosions, particularly around, we think, the southwesterly perimeter uh, of the city. That is what those Kurdish fighters still inside the city, resisting ISIS, say they want, and they want a lot more of them, because the situation in there on the ground is so now very dire. As you say, the ISIS flag flying in the east of the city, and those Kurdish fighters inside tell us that ISIS are advancing. There has been intense street fighting and heavy casualties are on both sides. Those Kurdish fighters say that they are still outnumbered and still outgunned, with the ISIS fighters having heavier weapons and far more advanced weaponry as well, and of course the ability to be continuously resupplied from the outside. The Kurds believe they have an advantage in the sense that they know the streets. They think they can hold off for a while yet, longer than they believe ISIS thinks they can. But it now would appear to be only a matter of time, really, until this city falls. And when it does, those Kurdish fighters inside the city believe that all of them, some thousands who still remain, will be massacred, John. Sounds like a potential humanitarian disaster just a short distance from where you are, Phil, and just a short distance from where Turkish troops have been standing by watching. So any sense that Turkey might get more involved in the situation? Turkey? No, not yet. All the language from the Turkish government is that there will be no military intervention in this conflict that we can see from this position here so clearly. Their argument is, well, we haven't become military involved in any aspect of the Syrian civil conflict, and they see this as just another portion of that, really. They are still helping out in a big way with humanitarian concerns, still opening their gates to the hundreds of thousands of refugees that have crossed over the last couple of days. Other than that, Turkish tanks are positioned, but they're just looking. Meanwhile, on the ground here in this region surrounding me, Turkish military and police have been really driving away Kurdish onlookers. These are mostly Turkish residents, ethnic Kurds, also some who fled across from Syria, been gathering in big numbers, concerned, sometimes angry that Turkey isn't getting involved, and they've been using tear gas to clear these crowds away. We've got involved in the middle of that a few times, but that is the extent to, to which Turkey is using any sort of force, uh, really, based upon the events that are taking place behind us just across the border, John. And an interesting